grand rising, grand rising on this Sunday morning. I just wanted to do a quick um, general reading for anyone watching on this 6 a.m. Sunday in the morning on the February 13th. Rest in peace to Pep Ice, my cousin. This is a general reading. So here we have the, um, the King of Cups in the upright position. So the energy I'm reading on this, somebody is um, holding on to some emotional energy, um, probably dealing with it on a mental level as opposed to using the solar plexus chakra of the heart, looking at things more on an emotional uh, level, as opposed to dealing with things rationally. It's also a person that's full of love and compassion, has a father figure energy. Compassionate, very emotional about, about what they, what they put their energy in. And the energy that's being put into is this three of pentacles in the reverse. So here's somebody was trying to build on something financially, probably had a job, um, didn't work out too well. Um, so now they're working on um, maybe restructuring, trying to rebuild, trying to balance um, maybe two jobs at the same time and end up losing one, something like that. So this particular person, um, according to both energies, to me, states, um, so this person needs to um, maybe find a job that they have more compassion, more love for. You need to do something that you love to do for a living. And also here next, I have here the um, the high priest's card, high priestess card. So this energy explains to me that there needs to be some sort of balance, especially when it comes to, I guess, the finance and um, how we make money. Now we're looking away from the finance. This is why um, maybe we, we were structuring how we do things. Because see, remember, we were trying to build on something that didn't work out. So whatever that is, we have to look away from that and move on. Trust your higher self here. I sense some sexual energy, Mars energy, uh, Aries uh, energy is here as well for me. A little Gemini energy probably. Um, Definitely a mother figure, motherly energy, divine feminine energy, definitely. So look into um, being more intuitive about what you want to do financially. And make sure it's something that you love to do. If you love something that you want to build on and do, then most likely trust trust your, your um intuitions about it. So here we have also Prince of Swords. Make sure that you are um, honest about what it is that you want. Make a plan. If it's a business plan that's needed contracts, applications, investments, keeping the balancing the books, but be honest about it with this um, swords energy. It's more like, um, for me, a mental thing, you know, very spiritual in nature as well but more uh, putting what you know on paper and so, you know, like applying what it is you know as well and what you love. And then I could see more finances being more successful here. It's more of a balanced, you know. 
it's an equal give and take as well. Six of Pentacles. Make sure that um, it's equality. Are you getting paid for what you're worth as well? If not, then I don't think you're going to love what you do. <laughs> so with both of these energies together, along with what we already know, put the plan together. Put a plan together to um, make this happen for you financially. And sometimes it may not always be about money. It could be about your spirituality. And sometimes your spirituality can bring you money. Because you're going to deal with your high priestess. You remember your higher intuition. And here we have the wheel. You know, it's karma. It's divine uh, masculine energy where the kundalini, divine masculine and divine feminine, really, uh, energy is coming together to balance the heart and the shock and the the mind. But get rid of your shadow work, your demons. Venus energy, right? Scorpio. See the Leo going into, what's that, Virgo? Virgo coming out of Libra. It's the Sphinx, right? So you have Virgo Libra energy as well here. Points of Virgo Leo energy. Preparing itself for the focus on dealing with the devil or dealing with its lower self, its shadow work. Being prepared. Because what goes around comes around. So make sure what your intentions are is what you want your, your environment to show, what you want to manifest. And so altogether, I would say. Pardon self, this is like this. Have love and passion and compassion for what it is that you're trying to build on, for what it is you're trying to gain finances on. Because if you you have to deal with your higher self, your intuition, your higher intuition. Not so much sexual energy, but more of a higher intuition. Because you might be fertile, very fertile. So be careful of your sexual desires. Put a plan together. Plan it out and stick to it with the, with the swords here. Spiritual energy can bring you financial energy. As above, so below. As within, so without. You are a divine being living a human experience. Remember that. So always make sure your intentions are clean and clear. And do the work that needs to be done necessarily. Otherwise, what goes around comes around. And you continue to keep the same old cycle over and over again. This has just been a general reading today. If you like, please uh, share and subscribe to the channel. I'm King Cooley. I'll be trying to do more of this more often. I appreciate the love. And soon I can go um, live. Love is love. Enjoy um, this new full moon coming up, Valentine's. It's about the Leo full moon energy. Take care of your heart and your sun, solar plexus energy. Take care of your sins, suns. The dark side, the shadows, before we bring that energy into the heart, we want to make sure it's pure and clean. What goes around comes around. I'm up. Like, share, subscribe. Peace and love. We outside.